Greg here again with number eight in our installment of West Coast videos along the U.S. showing radiation readings from Mexico to Canada, from Canada to Mexico. Here we are in Oregon, first one in Oregon. We are in, we're at, I should say, Fort Stevens, uh, Oregon. And we are at the wreck, this will be an easy one to prove where I'm at. We are at the wreck of the ship that's here called the Peter Iredale that sunk in 1906. Ran aground, actually. 1906. So, that's easy to prove where I'm at this time. Let's begin the video. Take my shoes off. It's gonna get wet, as always. <sighs> okay, I gotta activate the Missouri so you can see it. I thought I changed the setting so it would stay on. Now, already I've seen it's going to be a slightly higher readings here at this beach. We're walking towards the beach at 7 a.m. Pretty soon the sun will illuminate the, uh, the screens. And actually, I think I need to... Okay, we're right. Walk right towards the wreck. Uh, last night when I came here, the water level was already... You couldn't walk up to the wreck without going knee-deep in water. The tide is lower this morning, so now I'm able to walk right up to it and right by it. There is water around it, but the beach is still a good block away. Uh, the interesting thing about this ship, as you're watching the radiation readings, as you see, it's a metal ship. And uh, 1906, it's a very strange ship, uh, very transitional. There was a, it was a sailing ship. Yeah, a steel-hulled sailing ship with steel masts. Let me get the sunlight in the very, now you can see the readings good, I think. Oh, except now I have to reactivate this. Yeah, it was a metal sailing ship, steel, and it uh, did not have a uh, steam engine on board. Kind of an oddity in, in, in uh, naval uh, development, history development. Okay, we are at the water's edge, and I don't want to get too close because I always get inundated. I don't want to get my Geiger counter super wet. And as you see, we're at the water's edge. And we're going to uh, gonna back up a little bit more and just set it on the ground here for a while. Let you look at the readings. You can't see the readings. Nine, now eight micro Remkins currently to 18 counts per minute. If you don't know what these numbers mean, go to forbiddenknowledge.info, the radiation page, which is linked in the description box below. As is the video showing there's a video showing my testing methods, the rig I got set up here, and why I have them set up to counts per minute. Oh, and that one got more water than I wanted. Okay, we're backing out. We got readings. Let's see if I can uh, get the water off the lenses here. Okay, we're going to walk back towards, we're going to walk with this, the beach in view instead of the wreck so that we can keep these in the sun so you can see them. Hopefully you can see them. This first time I got them wet, wet, as in the, the water actually hit the Geiger house, not just spray. I'm going to be really careful in the future. The things I do for trolls on YouTube. So anyway, we, are, we do seem to be getting slightly higher readings here as the last beach. And let me explain that. But first, uh, let's, uh, as we're walking towards the last part of the video, uh, well, let's let's do that later. Uh, just keep showing readings and walking towards uh, what I need to do for. Oh, I got to reactivate this. I didn't have the settings right on this apparently on the Mazur. I'm trying to keep them in the sun for you. I'm walking so you can see the wreck as I walk away. I got to find where my stuff is. It's on the beach there somewhere. Nobody here. And yeah, by the way, it's too cold to swim here, people. You think I'm scared of the water? No, there's no radiation here. Why would I be scared of the water? Uh, later on in this series, I'm sure I'll be swimming, but not now. It's just too cold. As you'll notice in the videos, there's absolutely no one swimming in the water. If they're at the water, they got rubber boots and they're clamming. So get real. And no, I'm not going to drink the water. Seawater isn't safe to drink anywhere in the world. And not because of radiation, because first, so first of all, it's salty, and second of all, because things will make you sick in it unless you treat it. Okay, we're, we're at, back at the plate now, but first, Need to show you averages that we will be recording. 
okay and then go the average here okay the average here in the Missouri is 12 micro Renkins and here and this is what we're recording below here we got 24.8 we're gonna call it let's switch back 24.5 now and now we're at 13 okay we'll record 13 we'll give you the benefit of the trolls the benefit of the doubt 13 it's, it's jumping between 12 and 13 okay average I want it on current current okay and here's the final part of the test show you nothing shielded Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because it's not as windy as it usually is, I'm gonna take a brief period of time here to describe, explain, if you're still watching. Here, in this part of the country, apparently, we're, uh, the last two tests, this test in Oregon and the last test in Washington, on either side of the Columbia River. The Columbia River, now you'll have mountains, ranges, you're talking about a thousand miles of river. The radiant of the rocks wash off from the the river, wash down the rivers and slowly make its way to the sea and end up here. So any elevated readings doesn't mean it's coming from Japan. You got natural radiation coming from, say, the mountains. There was uranium in the oceans long before man even discovered the Alp atom or before Fukushima was even invented. So just because I'm getting slightly higher readings, uh, the readings at the last beach, for instance, of being 15, because a lot of you don't know what the numbers mean. The last uh, beach was 15 micro Renkins average, <clears throat> and that'd be about like living in Colorado, where there's no water, no Fukushima, nothing. Anywhere in Colorado, pretty much you're getting 15 micro Renkins. So 15 micro Renkins is nothing to worry about, unless you're afraid to live in Colorado. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, continue watching the series. The next several videos will be 